Hello, this is Roland Jung with ePlan in Retail Canada. Uh, here, what we often talk about is the added value chain. Uh, talking about primarily here the Retail and ePlan working together to make the perfect uh, tool to be efficient on the engineering, supply, manufacturing, and operations. Today, I want to talk about something that all of these industries have in common. Right? All of these industries, whether it's food and beverage, process, automotive, all of them, they have one specific thing in common. They all build panels. So sooner or later, they all go through this step here. And we already talked about it. There is a mechanical portion where you do some cutting of your ducts and your rails. There is some drilling where you have to pre-drill um, the back plate, the door, the side, and you have to assemble them. But hereafter, and this is the most important part, comes the wiring. And in the wiring process, a lot of people, it's a very manual process. People organize themselves using, I don't know, some schematics, some, 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 some list. But we figured out that there are some really some interesting gains to do if we actually have machines that can help us. Now, some of these machines will go as far as pre-organizing, pre-cutting, labeling, and crimping all the wires, like this wire terminal. Within 12 seconds of wire or even less, it can produce a wire. So they can prefabricate the wires. Now, this machine, of course, if you have a high volume, is an interesting thing. There's another step in between that may uh, not require as much investment, is the semi-automated way. The semi-automated way basically is starting at the same spot, so everything starts with an E-plan. You have some components that are placed in a panel, and you can see here these components have been wired up, have been routed. So we actually know the length of these wires. Now you can produce these uh, or, or transfer these informations directly to the wire fabrication to the Rital uh, terminal WT, which is the wire terminal. Or what you can also do is you can send me a simple Excel sheet like this, which is just a very, very uh, simple sheet that contains a wire ID in the front here, a cross section, a color, maybe a bundle to bundle them up together, the source and target, and in specifically the length. Now, this file is then directly read to the small machine here to cut the wires. Now, obviously, if you cut the wires, let's say 10 red wires and you don't put any labels on it, yeah, you won't figure out where do those wires go because they have different lengths. So it's very important in that process while you have the cutting that you also uh, put the labels on there. And this is my recommendation here. A thermal mark e-wire or a thermal mark e-wrap where you can simply take that produced wire that is pre-cut and slide it in there and it will actually have its label. Now the trick is the label is on the wire, the wire is cut, you need a crimper. There are different crimping machines. This crimper is a huge time saver because not only does it contain multiple rolls, but you just stick your wire in there, boom, it's crimped, okay? So now the wire is prefabricated and you can hand it over to the electrician that will do the wiring. This is where smart wiring with its 3D comes into place. And you can now exactly see how a wire is wired from one spot to another and uh, precisely just, you know, look it up, um, the, you know, from, from that point here, uh, front view, side view, um, this is the smart wiring, right? This is really a cool thing. So how does that all work together? Well, simple. On the e side, I showed you that we can export an Excel sheet. Cool. This goes to the cutter. Now, on ePlan, we can also export all the labels. You know that from tools, marking here, and we have a handshake between the ePlan configuration and the Phoenix Contact Project Complete tool, which then produces right away here the labels. Now, labels can be simple labels like this that I can run through a thermal mark roll. And there are more complex labels, like these wire labels here, which are wraparound labels. Okay, cool. Now, how do I configure 
this new printer? Well, number one, you have to find the printer um, for itself. You have to find the driver. I found it here on the German page, the Thermomark, uh, the E600, that's the base unit. Down under download, you can find here the Treiber, and you can download this, and it will simply download the driver. If you look at that driver here, you will see it's just a simple driver. You install it, and it's ready to, uh, to be used. Inside now your Phoenix Contact Project Complete, you have to simply activate this driver. Okay, it's there. It comes basically in a specific configuration with a small plus. You can click on that plus, pick whichever additional unit you have attached to it, you know, like a wrap, a vario, whatever, and it actually will then appear here. And you can say which one is active. So if you actually crimped on the e-wire, keep that one active, we'll make the next step a little bit easier. Now this handshake with ePlan happens right here. The handshake with ePlan is nothing else than a configuration to import a file. This is such an import. I can share it with you. If I export this file, you can share it with friends. It's an XML file. You can send it to certain colleagues and they can import it and they won't have to do the configuration. Now, once you import it, you get the same thing as I do here. It's basically nothing else than a configuration that calls up here. There's a name. You can call it whatever you want it calls up that Excel sheet. The same Excel sheet that I just generated here, I just took it and saved it for this particular example into my documents folder, right? So precisely, you can see here, we have a few columns. I'm just gonna close it so it doesn't disturb on that side. You can see these same columns reappear here because it can open an Excel sheet. We know that from Project Complete, we may have used it in the past, really cool feature. I personally do not check out here the filter, lo logic tree, or condition conditional field. I always go right to the material mapping. This is pretty much where the active printers will show up, as I showed you earlier, and this is where you pick whichever label you want to use. I personally pick the 16 wire gauge label. This is the one I have to purchase. This is the part number you have to work with when you work with Phoenix Contact, getting the perfect uh, label. Now for the field assignment, this is really where the finicky thing comes in. If I zoom in here on the right hand side, you can see different zoom levels and you can see it has actually three different fields, uh, yellow, uh, blue and white one, three different groups. This one here, the group number two is the yellow one. The group number three is the white one and the group number one. And what I did is I just dragged and dropped the column number one on that group one. On the group two, I dragged and dropped the column number five, which was pretty much my source. And on group number three, I dragged and dropped my column number six. Now, you can also specify the size of these objects. So it can actually make them a little bit bigger, make them a little bit smaller. Um, if you actually want to add some additional text, you can do this, whatever, right? And this is the configuration that will enable you to import the same file that was used to the printing. So now when you run this import, the interesting thing is the order that you see here is the same order these wires will be cut. Now, this is very important because you will be cutting the wires and one by one after they were cut, you will simply take them here and throw them through the printer. Now they are ready to be crimped. Once these are done, right, you can see, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. You can see that I actually have the source and the target. I'm gonna go now land these wires using nothing else than my smart wire. So how does that work? This is basically just an application that is on a tablet, or it could also be on something like a Dell touchscreen. This is what I have right now, my Dell touchscreen. You sign in, this is for the electrician on your tablet or your Dell touchscreen, and you just sign in with your electrician's name. Of course, uh, you, you could have a number, you could have a name, this is up to you how you actually work this out. And there we go. We can start a new project or we can continue an existing project. Let's say this is a brand new build. So I will use this to actually start a new build. I have a few different setups here. I'm going to use this Rital ePlan um, RAC project. 
which is the one you saw on the EPLAN side, and it will open and show me all the wires that I actually had routed on the other side. Now, interesting about this is, of course, the fact that every wire, okay, actually comes with a 3D representation here and also a 3D routing representation, as you can see, to show you exactly how it's routed. You want to see them both together? It's going to zoom in. So this 3D aspect is a nice time saver because what you can do with this time saver here is that you can pretty much um, uh, see where the components are. So it's also 3D, so you can actually rotate and run it exactly the way you want to really see where it is. You can zoom in, you can see it's the very first terminal, you can see exactly where it pinpoints to. Uh, you can even find some additional information like the schematics uh, that were linked to it. Here is a schematic icon, there we go, and you can see the exact schematic of that particular uh, connection. Um, now, the intention behind the scene is, of course, to monitor how you uh, progress. So by picking up a specific wire, you can actually look up that wire. Let's say we have a specific wire. We go back to our printer here and we pick down here one of the wires that is connected. Let's say you can see my cursor here on PL11. Let's say this is the one I pick up. I look at the wire. I can see it. Okay, it's 120V. It's PL1. How can I find this wire very quickly? Well, very quickly, you can just type in PL1 up here and search. Now it's gonna come up with a few different ones. You can see this is the ground connection, this is a neutral connection, and this is the 16 black connection. So very quickly, you can see where the connection is to be done. And as you actually connect the end into the wire, you can just click on that particular one. Now, let's say we, we pick another one, just for the sake of the example. We go a little bit further down and we say, okay, we want to pick up the 3130.3. Okay, so we just go and we go by the wire number, 3130.3. Let's say I don't put the 31 dot. So I, I have two wires that are exactly the right ones. And here you can see, whoops, we have a signal uh, which has the 3130.3. Obviously, no, nope, this is 31.1, so it's not this one, it's this one. I can just wire it up like this. Interesting is that this is monitored. Now, I haven't done too many wires yet, as you can see, um, but it as I go move forward, it's monitored. If you reset the filter, you can see we have two wires done. The more you progress, the more you will see these wires being done. So not only does the ePlan Smart Wiring allow you to work with multiple electricians at the same time on the same project, so you can actually work in parallel, parallel, everyone can pick up the wires as I showed you, but someone else in the office could actually do a cross-check and a monitor um, to see how far are we on a specific project. So let's say here I want to look at the build 26 or the instance 26. I just open it and I can see Oh, this build is pretty much finished, right? We have already 18 wires done. We can see how far the process is, who actually did most of the wiring. Uh, you can see uh, some, some, some specific um, about the projects and specifically how far it's done. You can see this one is pretty much finished. We have um, two thirds of the project done. And I guess here, um, you know, everything is there. We have only one panel in this particular project. So a project manager can actually monitor. Really cool, really, really cool. So that was ePlan and how ePlan could ha help you on the wire fabrication, especially if you split these two steps in a very comfortable environment, you fabricate the wires, you prefab the wires, uh, you have them labeled in a smart way so that, you know, everyone can read source and target. And from that point on, they can just be in a bin. And at one, whatever, whatever the time be, uh, the electrician can pick it up and install it through the smart wiring I showed you. So the smart wiring has a 3D aspect uh, onto it, which is um, really helping the electrician find the appropriate wire. He could even use the smart wiring to fabricate the wires if he does not have the cutter, but only the crimper. And we have different options there to work with. So that was Roland from ePlan Canada. I hope this helped you. Thank you. And please subscribe for new videos.